Hey everyone, Rod the George here, and today we're going to take a look at how to play She Talks to Angels by the Black Crows. Now the first thing we have to look at is how we tune the guitar. This is an open E, and the way they tune this is E, B instead of A, so you have to go up a whole step from A to B. This is E, up a whole step from D, G sharp, up a half step from G, and then B and E. So we have E, B, E, G sharp, B, E. So basically, you're tuning it so all the open strings play an E chord. Now I'm going to start with the rhythm parts, get all those down first, then we'll get into those intro licks. Okay, so first we have... All right, what we're doing there is just open. And then we lay down our fingers just like we're playing an E chord in standard tuning. Okay, we have the second finger, second fret of the fifth string, third finger, second fret of the fourth string, first finger, first fret of the third string. Okay, and that makes an F sharp minor 11 slash E. We're keeping that E in the bass. So for the verse part, the timing is two, three, four, and a one, two, and a three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and a one, two, and a three, and four, and... Strumming-wise, we're going down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. So that's basically the verse part. And when he goes into the chorus, he comes out of that verse by playing a unison E. So he's playing the E on the fifth fret of the second string, as well as that open E. And he also grabs the third string and sometimes the fourth string as he opens up his strum. So coming out of the verse, it'll be like. Okay, and that's straight 16th note, up and down, so. Okay, now I would suggest using your first finger here because what we're doing when we go into the chorus We go right into this chord right here. So this is what the main guitar plays. Rich Robinson plays this part. There are other guitar, piano, and organ parts which we'll get into in a second. But for the chorus he starts off with this chord right here. And this is a B add 11. So for this B add 11, we're doing fifth string open, fourth string, seventh fret, third string, seventh fret, second string, fifth fret, and the first string open. Now he's muting this with his thumb, the sixth string. Now the second chord is just an A chord. What we're doing is he's playing the fifth fret of the sixth string with his thumb, but he reaches over and mutes that fifth string. So he's fretting this fifth fret here, mutes this fourth string open, third string, fifth fret, second string, fifth fret, first string open. And that's just an A chord in this tuning. So we go from this B at 11 to the A, Okay, so he's basically doing a B to an A. This is a little different, that B add 11. What you can do with the other guitar and the keyboards, what I'm hearing there is more of a. So if we're in open E tuning and this is an E chord, if we slide up to the seventh fret, this is a B chord. But when we add this, we're going to add, so we have the first finger on the seventh fret. Then when we add this, we add the third finger on the ninth fret of the fifth string and the middle finger on the eighth fret of the third string. So we go. 
down to the fifth fret, which is an A chord. So it's. Now this time, same type of thing, but we go. So the bridge is a little different. There we have. So what we have there is we have the third finger, fifth fret of the sixth string, pinky fifth fret of the fifth string and then we have that open it's an E now in this tuning the open fourth string and then we have our first finger on the third fret of the third string and then the first two strings open now what we're doing is now that's basically an A sus2 chord and then what we do is we replace that pinky with the middle finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string. So it's and go back up. So what we're doing is A sus2. Then we when we go down here, this is A sus2 sharp eleven. So so we go down and then we come back up. So and now here what we're doing is we're moving that third finger from the sixth string to the fifth string. So we have the third finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string, open fourth string, first finger is still on that third fret of the third string, then the first two strings are open. Now we add the pinky, creating an E sus4 down to an E chord. So the pinky here is on the fourth string, fifth fret, then we go down to the middle finger, fourth fret of the fourth string. So fifth fret of the fourth string down to the fourth fret of the fourth string. So that is. So all together it's. Now, if you wanted to play an easy version of it, you could just play the A, fifth fret, E, and E says four down here would just be that first finger on the third string, first fret. That would definitely work with the vocals. However, what he's doing is So he does that three times, and then the fourth time, he just stays on that A sus2. All right, so those are all the different parts for the rhythm section. Now let's take a look at what he's doing in the intro. What he's doing there is... Okay, what that is, is we're taking the fourth fret of the second string, we play that and the first string open, and then slide it up to the fifth fret, and then hit that open string with an upstroke. And then, then we slide fourth fret of the second string down to the second fret, open B and E, and then you hit that open E string. So we're doing both of these strings together as we slide into that unison E. Hit that open E, slide down, both strings open, then hit that open E on an upstroke. Then we go third string open, hammer on to the first fret, and then second and first string. And then we go back to that third string. We hit that twice, and the second time, we pull off to the open third string. Fourth string open. So slowly. Now, 
that last chord is on beat two. So when you do this, So we do that twice. Three, four. Three, four, and a one, two, and a three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one. So what I did there on the and of three and the and of four, I did harmonics on the twelfth fret and then the seventh fret. Okay, now to do harmonics, if you're not sure, you just lightly touch right above the fret wire itself, not where you would actually fret the note. Above the fret wire, lightly touch, don't push down, and then release your finger afterwards to allow that to ring uninhibited. So we have 12th fret, 7th fret. So that's Now what that was is we slide the second finger from the second fret of the fourth string up to the fourth fret of the fourth string and then we hit that open third string and then third string pull off from the third fret to the open then down to the fourth string open so we do that third pull off fourth string open fifth pull off to the open string, open, back to the third, pull off, open. So what we have is... Then we go up to the second string open, fourth string, second fret, fourth string open. So again, slow. So you have to know where you are in the beat. So after we do this, right there is beat two. So there you go, and the three and four and. So you have two and the three and four and. So what we're doing is we're hitting the first string open, second string, fifth fret, back to that first string open. Now what we're doing is we're going to descend, okay, in this tuning this is an easy fingering. So we're descending 5th fret of the 2nd string, 7th uh, fret of the 3rd, 5th of the 3rd, 7th of the 4th, 5th of the 4th, 7th of the 5th, 5th of the 5th. We're descending like that. And in between we're hitting the 1st string open. So we start with the first string open. Now right there it's a little different. He hits the third string open after hitting this seventh fret of the fifth string. Then he goes down to the, after he hits this, goes up to the third string, fifth fret, of the fifth string, open string, first string, and then the chord. So, all right, so all together.
right, so hopefully you found this helpful. If so, please hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button, and YouTube will keep you up to date. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Peace.